Welcome back for another season of Ravens football. I'm Coach Evans. I'm your host here with Sip the Tally Films. And our first preview for the 2020 season. Uh, obviously, we're going against the Browns. I'm recording this Thursday before the Thursday night game. You guys should get it Friday morning. And I'm simply going to put out a few quick keys to victory that I think will help us to, to victory over the Browns. Um, little housekeeping things if this is your first time here. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. And once you subscribe, hit the bell notifications so you can be notified every time I drop videos. Um, I have a schedule lined up. I'm going to try my darndest to stick to that schedule. Now, matter of fact, I'll go ahead and, and lay the schedule out to you. So um, basically moving forward, which is the start of my YouTube season also with the NFL season, you'll get a preview of the Ravens opponent on Friday morning. I'll try to record it Thursday night and get it out for early Friday morning. Um, Saturday, sometime Saturday, depending on what time the film drops, you'll get a new series I'm starting called Thursday Night Lights. That way I highlight, you know, uh, whoever had a great game or something important that I saw on the Thursday night NFL game. And that's gonna con that's not going to strictly be for Ravens people, but that'll be for the NFL community as a whole. So that way other guys can get opportunity to... To come and join in on you know in the family then back to the youtube content our post game show will be coming back uh first guest is, is quincy which i'm going to be on his show here in a little bit uh with the browns he's a browns podcaster a youtuber and the phones line phone lines will be lit so i can't wait to to hear you guys and, and listen to who you are you know happy with or disappointed in or want to see more of or think we did right and think we did wrong i love hearing you guys opinion and uh you know ha having conversation with you about ravens football because i'm gonna be honest with you i was thinking about this on the ride home from work i didn't think this day would get here i you know because of what's going on in the world i didn't think we'd have a kickoff weekend in the nfl but um we got through it it's here and without further ado, let's get into these uh, three keys uh, to the Baltimore Ravens' victory over the Cleveland Browns. All right, the first key, and this first key is probably going to be on my chart. I'm going to say every game we got because it was so important last year. Time of possession. Keep the ball. Shoot the clock up. Keep the defense fresh. I can't. I can't reiterate enough. If you were here last year, you know. And the year before that, how, how when Lamar started playing quarterback and we started chewing clock, how much better our defense played. You know, Suggs keeps sticking in my mind that first year Lamar was here. Suggs' game went up another notch, notch when Lamar got in because he was rested. He was rested. Baltimore kept the ball, long play drives, and the defense was rested. And, you know, last year, every time we won time of possession, but not, I ain't going to say every time because I don't have the stats right in front of me. Most of the time we won time of possession, we won the game. And last year, we averaged almost 35 minutes of in time possession, 60-minute game. So we had it, you know, pretty much five minutes more than, than average. But still, that's a huge difference. That's 10-minute difference. I got about 10 more game minutes than you. That That's a huge difference. All right, number two, no yak yardage for Beckham, um, Landry, um, Austin Hooper, um, and, and Joku. Uh, the rookie tight end they got. And I know I think Higgins is their other fast receiver. No yak for them guys. Yeah, they may catch some balls. When they catch it, get them on the ground. It's a key. Get them on the ground. Get them on the ground. And and number two kind of leads into number three. So that's why they, they kind of group together. But when them guys catch the ball, and are we going to hold them completely catchless? I doubt it. Let's be real. They're going to catch balls. They Their receiving core is, is okay. Odell and Jarvis and you know we got good DBs but it's their receiving course okay let's be realistic and um my third key my third key is make Baker go to his second reads make Baker Mayfield go to his second reads because with our new or not our reinvigorated front seven 
I think they can get pass rush without necessarily blitzing. And that way, if we're tight on tight on that coverage, make him go to a second read. And if he has to go to that second and third read, I think we got guys that's going to get home this year. I really do. I think we're going to have guys that can that can beat. You know, because Khalil's probably going to be double team. So I think we got guys that can beat one-on-one, you know, blocking versus the Browns. I really do. Judon, is your time to shine. You want your money. It's payday starts right now. Uh, Bowser, you want respect. Time starts now. Wolf going to get in there and do his job. Whoever else is in there with Calais. Calais is going to command the attention. You other guys got to eat. And with that being said, that, you know, that's why we got to make him go to the second and third reads because somebody going to get off a block in past situations. Somebody. And it don't have to be the same guy. Don't have to be the same guy. It could be Judah on one play. It could be Bowser on another play. Uh, it could be Calais splitting the double team. It could be Matt Abuka. It could be Big Brandon. It, it, it doesn't have to be the same guy all the time. We can we can get six or seven sacks and have six different people have sacks. It could be a blitz from a linebacker or something. As long as we get that heat on them and make them go to a second and third read, I think we're going to be good. Now, there's other things I can kind of dive into with you know with this, but I just want to kick it, keep it quick, simple, and sweet. Those are my three keys to the Baltimore Ravens beating the Browns. It's a win time possession is one. Uh, no yak yardage for the receiving core. And make Baker go to his second reads. No quick game. Notice I didn't say anything about Chubb. Notice I didn't say anything about Chubb. It'll take care of itself. This is Coach Edwin City Tally Films. I appreciate you guys coming through. This is week one preview versus the Cleveland Browns. Uh, I think Baltimore's going to win. And I'm going to say that for 17 straight weeks. Well, 16 straight weeks. I'll see you when I see you.